Welcome to Financial Investing Radio, where you'll learn the secrets for consistent, high probability returns in the financial markets for additional income to change your life. Grant applies consistent, high probability trading systems for the financial markets. He's only recently started sharing these tried and true market secrets. As a gift to listeners, Grant is offering his Roadmap to High Probability Financial Control. Go to FinancialInvestingRadio.com and download yours today. Now, here's your host and trading veteran, Grant Larson. Okay, hey, welcome everybody. This is Grant Larson. Welcome to another episode of Financial Investing Radio. Thank you so much for joining. So once again, for whatever reason, I've been given the opportunity by Stephen Sweet to join me here today. I, I consider this an honor. That's three in a row. And I figured, you know, I, I shouldn't let a gift horse in the mouth, right? So <laughs> he's, he's been willing to come join me. Uh, Stephen, welcome. Well, it's good to be here, Grant. Uh, I've really enjoyed this, uh, this journey, and I, I hope your listeners have as well. Um, um, it's always good to, to impart some, uh, some light, if you will, on the, uh, on the subject of trading. Um, I think uh, so many people are interested in it. Uh, and mystified by it. So it's a great opportunity to kind of demystify it if I can. Yeah, so exactly. I like the I like the notion of uh, being mystified. I, in fact, <laughs> that, that sort of uh, preframes what, I, what I'd like to sort of run by you here today. I have a, some questions for you. You've been sharing with us in the previous two episodes that we've talked, and, 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 and those that are listening, if, if if you haven't listened to those, go back and look. I put in the title something about Sweet, right? I, I play on Stephen's name, it's Stephen Sweet. Uh, and so you'll see while well, I talk about a sweet solution, right? Or, or, uh, or they call him Mr. Sweet, right? Look, look, for, those, <laughs> look for those episodes. Uh, and, and that's where Stephen starts to introduce. He goes through and he talks about what are some of the problems that he's seen over many years, many decades of trading, um, what he's seen traders struggle with. And then he goes in and says, look, after all that time, we've identified a path, a solution, right, that helps people to overcome some of the biggest problems. And actually, it's called Pathfinder. Actually, that's, that's a great name. Uh, it's called Pathfinder. What I wanted to do is to transition to the other side, which was, you know, there's a skeptic, I suppose, in all of us, right? Sure. And, uh, yeah. At some, yeah, at some point, you know, in fact, I ran into someone the other day that uh, has been listening uh, to these podcasts, and, and he says to me, he says, hey, you know, this is uh, interesting stuff. Um, but as you know, there's questions that people have, things like, and I'll, I'll tee it up with this, so I'll, I'll give you a chance to talk here. I'll say, <laughs> so here, here's the question. Who can benefit with Pathfinder and what makes it unique and different from, from other opportunities? Could, could you start by addressing that? Yeah, you know, I think everyone can, can benefit from Pathfinder, you know, in different ways. Um, uh, I think the, the real truth is, is, is that most people struggle with, with, with trading and investing. And, and it has a lot to do with um, confidence, uh, risk management, understanding risk, um, how you feel about risk. Uh, and I, and again, I'll say that, that this is just me, but I, and I think it can be proven somewhere else too, that most people struggle with it. Uh, you know, it's, it's not like the majority of people do this and they, they make money at it. They, they're in stocks, they're in futures, they're in this and that. No, I think it's the other way around. So, um, uh, you know, what people struggle with, I think is the same things I struggled with, you know, it is risk and, you know, and, and not seeing, you know, feeling that you're not seeing the whole picture. Something's missing. Something, you know, you're, you're standing on the, you know, uh, at, at the train station. Maybe you're standing near the track. And you're looking one way. Go, well, where is that train? I know it's coming. I know it's coming. Look, you know, you, you hear the roar. I can hear it coming. I can't see it. <laughs> Doggone it. It's coming behind you. <laughs> yeah. Get that. off now, the track, you, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So and it's that kind of weird feeling when you, you throw your money down in, in, into a futures contract, for example, hoping it to move one way or you buy in a stock and this and that. And you're wondering, did I get everything right? Do I understand this? Am I on the right side? Am I facing the right direction? <laughs> and, and that's that. I mean, we all struggle with that. So the thing that I think everybody can benefit from is is more clarity, you know, so that you understand fully to the best you can 
of what you're what you're doing. You know, what side of the of the trade you're on, uh, or what side of the market you're on. It's very important. I don't think in, no one's got a crystal ball, so you'll always know that. But again, in Pathfinder, we teach our our uh, you know our our words. You know, our clarity of market condition. That's what you strive for. What's happening here? How best can we see what's happening here? That's the only way we can make an intelligent decision as to what we want to do or not do. And that takes some time and it takes understanding indicators, uh, and understanding yourself as far as risk. Um, so I, I think everyone can, can, can benefit from it, uh, you know, some more than others. So it seems like that, that you've got to be doing something around helping that person get into a new mindset almost. Is that, is that true? Because if I remember you said, hey, bring your methodology if, if you want. I, I'm, I'm, I think I remember you saying you, you have one as well, but, but bring whatever method you have, but you're helping to create a mindset change. Is that right? So they can, yes, so they can see it on their own. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, if they've already used something already, and you know, th there's some fabulous indicators out there, and there's literally thousands of them, but if you boil it down to a few, maybe you've learned from another uh, book or a seminar, another educator, but you know, it's still not working for you. It means that you're not understanding what you're seeing mm -hmm. well enough. That's yeah. the way I look at it. I mean, I got to tell you, Grant, and all the listeners out there, I was a skeptic too. I, I you know, in our first podcast, I told you about my background being on the trading floor and then getting off the trading floor and not doing anything in the marketplace for many years because I was skeptical that I would be able to see what I needed to see in, in the marketplace as far as what was going on. The Using a different medium, right? A different mechanism yeah. for seeing that. Yeah. Others, you weren't seeing the, the traders in the pit wave their hands, right? Right. And I was like, I was skeptical that I would find some indicators that would actually reveal some of that information that I saw down there. Obviously, it's not going to recreate faces and the energy and the sweat and everything else that goes with that. Yeah. But I, it took me a while of working with uh, some seasoned traders that had been uh, using indicators for a lot of years, and they explained to me um, why certain indicators were used. And I started to look at other ones and go, yeah, you know, if I could get a handle on this through this indicator and a handle on this through this indicator, it's giving me more of a, of a feeling of what's going on in the marketplace. So, okay. and I was skeptical too, but, and, and it took me a while to start putting these things together until I finally found the answer. And I said, there is a way, but you have to have confidence in what you're seeing. Uh, you know, these, these indicators can't be strangers to you. You have to understand exactly what they're telling you about the marketplace and be confident with that. So, and that's part of what we teach with Pathfinder as well. So no matter what indicators you bring, we'll help you understand them better. So it sounds like the first, if I was to net, we said the first key step you go after is to create this clarity of what really is happening in the market, the ability right. to make that mind shift. That's powerful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, so let me, let me try another, uh, on you. Okay. It's, it's, so I was talking to someone not long ago. I was talking about, Hey, here's a particular program. Um, you know, give it a try or think about it. Basically the trader said, look, I've tried using, you know, coaches before and I've even paid for coaching. And then that's the say, just said, Hey, I don't have the discipline or the patience, right? to wait for everything to line up again. Well, how, how would you address that, you know, that, 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 that sort of question? Well, if somebody blatantly admits that he doesn't have discipline, period, uh, the answer is you're probably not going to do well at this or any other, you know, venture that's going to require that kind of discipline, you know, mm -hmm. discipline, period. But if he says, well, you know, I don't, I have the discipline I, that, I, that I'd like, I, don't, I can't apply my own disciplines as well as I'd like to, using these indicators. That's a different question. Oh, different that's, a, that's a good clarity. So, all right. So yeah. maybe, maybe it's, Hey, let me figure out how to gain the discipline. I'm interested. I'm passionate, but I, right. I need to figure out how to apply the discipline effectively because, because I'm assuming that that translates into confidence ultimately, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. It does. You know, one of the, one of the things that, uh, that, you know, when I talk to people about uh, uh, getting on board and they said, well, and quite frankly, Grant, most people that I've talked to have, have been down the road a piece. They've, they've been to a seminar. They've, they've been to maybe a, a, a group uh, education thing online, which was very popular quite a few years ago, where you pay in, you know, what, $1,000 or something like that, and you get into this group setting every day for, for an hour, and, and the guy shows you what he's doing in the marketplace and talks it through. So they've done that. They've done books. Uh, very few I have found have had personal coaches 
Um, and so they, most of them are, are in group settings or read a book. Um, so, but one of the things that I saw over the years, over the four and a half years Pathfinder's been out, and we take a look at, um, at what, a, what a client's using, because we do screen share. You know, we'll look at his screen uh, while we're talking. He's explaining what he's seeing on his, with his indicators. Okay. Right. And so it's very, very important that I see that. I don't show him mine. You know, it's not important. It's what's, what he's looking at and what, what, his, what his conclusions he's drawing. All right. But here's the thing that I think that makes it the hardest for people to, to get that handle. And I, uh, I'm, I'm really hesitant to redesign someone's approach. But in many cases, you know, some little tweaks need to be done. Of course, that's why they're paying me to do this. So anyway, so I'll, what I see is many times people have multiple screens. He goes, all right, here, I'm looking here, I'm looking at the e and p and I've got, uh, it's, a, it's a five minute chart and it's got uh, Bollinger Bands on, it's got MACD on it, uh, and it's got, say, you know, another indicator, all right? Okay. And he says, all right, he says, okay, then I'll also look at a 30 minute chart over here. Now this one has got the, um, this has got, uh, you know, three different indicators, whatever they are, three different indicators, different ones. Oh, right. different ones. Okay. Different indicators. I see that a lot. And so what they're trying to do is draw, draw a conclusion from one to the other. Um, and, and using, uh, you know, these indicators for the 30 minute and then these indicators for a five minute. All right. So one of the things that, that, that we all profess in there is keeping your eye on the ball. And that means looking at a group of indicators that you come to trust that you can put together that tell you the picture, give you the picture, tell you the story, and not and keep your eye on the ball. If you're going to look at a 30-minute chart, look at those same indicators, all right? I see. Uh, so so, so you, let me make sure I got it, Stephen. You're yeah. saying uh, I'm on a five-minute, I have three indicators. You're saying if I've got, say, a 30-minute chart, it should be the same set of three indicators I'm putting yes. in there. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's like learning a language. You know, you're learning the, the language of the marketplace or what's happening in the marketplace through those indicators that you've got. And so now you're saying, okay, well, I got English here, I got Spanish here, and I got French here. Okay? <laughs> Not that you can't do that, but why complicate it? You know? Right. You know? I'm, so, I'm assuming this would apply to bigger time frames too, right? If someone's a swing absolutely. or a position trader, uh, the same yeah. principle, right? Yeah, because you're, you're learning to read the market through the indicators. And again, as I just said, you can have different languages. You know, hey, the 30 minutes got these indicators on This one's got this. But you're taking your eye off the ball, in my opinion. So you want to take a look. And one of the first things you say, start assembling everything here on one screen. If you're going to trade, if you're going to be a short-term trader, you know, the look at a, at a one-hour or a daily chart is insignificant. <laughs> yeah. wait, wait, you know, wait, well, why waste your time? Why do you even go back weeks when, no. You're going to trade a very short term, which a lot of people are because they can control that risk. And that means they're, they're out of a trade. There's no risk. They're in a trade. They've got risk. They're out of a trade. They have no risk. So short term trading is very, very popular. Um, but look at the time frame. We're very close to the time frame that you're going to trade. Why look at a daily if you're going to be trading, scalping in and out every, every few five, 10 minutes or so. So it sounds like one of the things you do in the coaching to help people gain confidence and, and really answer the question, can I really do this? Is that you're looking at what they're doing and you're looking ways to trim it down, to simplify it, and then to help them have clarity on what it is that their indicators are already telling them. Am I, am I getting this? Yeah, that's it. That's it. I mean, it, it's all about their, their ability to see what's going on. You know, again, clarity of market condition. And that's what we hammer through the whole time, uh, you know, looking at that. And then uh, we can do some back testing with them. Uh, most of your charts, uh, you can roll back and uh, you can blind test it going, you know, one bar at a time going forward. You roll back to even a previous day and you can set things up that way. So, okay, here are the indicators that you've looked at. Uh, these are the ones you trust. Look at your indicators right now. Give yourself some time. What do you think is happening in the marketplace? Look at it. You've got all the time in the world right now. Look at it. Look at it. Now click it one more bar up. One more five minute bar up. One more bar. Look at it. So we're slowing the marketplace down so that you can get a good, real, real good look at all of your indicators together and, you know, all the notes, if you will, together. What chord are they playing? You know, all of them together. And is it saying buy or is it saying sell or is it saying stay out? And we teach them to look at that so that 
the goal is when they when they turn on their 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 computers and their charts my goal is within 5 minutes of looking at those charts you know what's happening in the marketplace and don't confuse that i know where the market's going right you know what's happening in the marketplace right that's interesting so it sounds like one of the key elements to this is it's not just that that there's coaching and it's not just that there's coaching that's saying here we're going to show you exactly what to do it's more here's coaching that looks at what you're trying to accomplish and then helps you to improve on what it is you're using and i'm, I'm assuming there's times though that you'll say hey like you said take this off you're making things too noisy or whatever right yeah i mean because you don't you know i i will interject that i mean and, and i think the they, i think the students expect that I mean, that's why they, they, they would have us there doing this with them. I had one guy uh, I was working with, and he had his, his indicators, and, and I knew all the indicators. I said, oh, that's great. And I, uh, I started looking at myself on mine and um, looking at my stuff, and, and I'm like, what? I look at his indicator. Something's wrong here. Well, I think he, had a, he had a Bollinger Band going and an MECD going, and I had a, a couple of those on my uh, charts as well. I'm looking at my uh, screen. I got two screens. And I can see things change, and I go, Wait a minute, because he says, he says, I'm always off time in the market. I'm always off time. He goes, you know, if I see it happening, I get in there and it goes the opposite way where it does nothing. And I know I understood what he was doing. I understood his indicators and what they were, should be revealing. I go, that's just too coincidental. And he says, it happens all the time, Steve. Well, I'm looking at his indicators. And I, look, I look it back at mine. His indicators aren't changing. <laughs> but... What? I said, I said, you got real time data, right? He goes, oh yeah, yeah. Somehow, in his chart package, he had a five minute uh, bar up, just like I had. But the price, nothing was, uh, the bars weren't changing until a five minute period was over. Oh gosh! So and then and then they would change, and then they would build. You see a five minute bar. Nothing was happening. <laughs> I go. That is really bizarre. I've never heard or seen anything like that before. I said, how long have you been doing this? He goes, it's been about three months trading like this. I go, I, 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 I. He's, but he didn't know any better. He's oh. got real-time data that he's paying for, but the charts themselves weren't updating the way they should. So he went back to the uh, developer. They said, well, you got to do this. You got to do this. You got to do this. Boom. Lights went on. He, we came back a couple days later. He goes, ah, uh, I see it. He thinks are moving. He goes, thank you. He says, I, I had no idea I was running down this, this, this track blind like that. He says, it explains to me why it was always behind the eight ball all the time. Hey, that's, uh, that's an interesting way. To, it's sort of, we call it batch style trading, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It changes at the end of the five minutes and then you sit for another five minutes. Yeah. Hey, and, yeah. and, I, and I felt bad for him because there's no fault of his own. Right. He didn't know. He's right. looking at it. <laughs> So. Oh boy, yeah, it's already hard enough, right? So, yeah. okay. and he told me, he goes, "Well, Steve, that's worth the price of admission, right there." <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, it sounds like the key here is, of course, the confidence and the skills can be developed. You've seen, and you've already shared several that that a better trader can be developed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's critical. That's critical. All right, so let me let me throw out another one here. This this is a common one, right? It's um, Oh, well, just everyone's busy, right? And so mm -hmm. there's challenges. People have multiple jobs or, you know, kids at home or, you know, money's really tight to, to do that. And, and so someone that I was working with the other day made these comments to me. Gosh, Grant, I don't know. You know, I don't know if I can, you know, get back and, and do this again. I'm, I'm just super busy with this. How, how, how does Pathfinder help to address that? What do, you, what do you do to help people overcome some of those uh, challenges? You know, these are things that are outside of their control, right? That they just yeah. got to get the kids to school, right? Or whatever it is. Well, what do you do in that sort of scenario to help people into their lifestyle? Well, I, I got to tell you, you know, when faced with a situation like that, presented with a situation like that, I got to tell you, I, my response was be, you shouldn't be doing this. Mm hmm because okay, you, know, you know you can't cram trading success in, into a, into a, into a, into a slot. Um, it, it's going to take some time. It's like anything. I mean, I've uh, I've had plenty of uh, you know uh, high end clients as far as uh, careers. I mean, plenty of surgeons and doctors and lawyers and what have you. And I said, uh, do you think if you and I sat down for a little bit and I looked at this, you know. 
hour a day that maybe that could be as successful as you are maybe in the next six months? No, Steve, come on. <laughs> what, what, what makes it? That's ridiculous. Okay. Yeah. All right. So how much time do you want to put into learning to get good at this is what I do. Well, it could take months. It could take years, you know, but it depends on how much you want to apply yourself. So to say that I'd like to do this because I'd like to make money, but I really don't have time to put it in. I'd say, save your money. I would. So um, I don't think it's, it, it, it takes five, six hours a day. I think it takes some good, a good slice of a day that you want to give it because this is what you're going to be doing during the day. So uh, figure out a time that you could do it. Uh, maybe that'll be the time that you'll study this. Maybe it's going to be an hour a day, something like that. I mean, I don't say going over longer than that get pretty boring. I know I hated studying, you know, <laughs> studying long hours when I was at school, you know, but uh, in smaller bites, it seems to, you know, be more uh, digestible. Is, is this something that can be broken up? Uh, let's say that someone says, well, they could spend two hours during the, you know, you know, when markets are closed, doing some study, and then they, they allocate an hour or two while the markets are open. Could, uh, could someone balance it that way? I think so. I mean, if, if they have a, if, if they have a, a quest and, and they're willing to, you know, to really give it that, I think that it, it would work fine. I, like I just said, I mean, it, going too deep into it, it's just going to make it too overwhelming. Uh, I think I told you uh, the last time when we do Pathfinder, we visit every other day, right? And there's a reason for that. Uh, and, and, the, and we meet like an hour to two hours on those, those, those sessions when we meet with, uh, with the students. So it's a good long period of time, but you need the time in between and you don't want to overtax. You know, like you said, everybody's got a career going, they've got kids and everything else, and you want to try and learn something new, uh, something you think is going to benefit you in the world. Well, you know, you don't want to make it you know, a struggle that you got to, I got to do six hours a day on this thing and da, 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 da. I mean, taking smaller bites. And what we try to do in Pathfinder is to do that. Give them some homework assignments, some things to talk about, some things to reflect on, and let them reflect on another day, and then come back and, and do it again. So you're taking small bites. Do you find the, the time commitment is different for those that want to do longer-term trading uh, or position trading compared to those that are looking to do intraday, you know, in the middle of the day trading? Is it different? No. No, I, I don't find it different at all because, you know, what, once, you, once you decide, you know, what time, time frame that you like to trade in, would rather trade in, and that's a, that's a study too that we'll, we'd ask people, you know, as to why or what kind of style they want to be, uh, style of trader. Uh, some people can't be the long-term trader. They, they don't know how to manage or don't feel comfortable managing risk wide open for day after day, mm -hmm. for hour after hour. Um, some people uh, learn that they get more comfortable with it and they learn that with proper risk management. Maybe they're using options under a position, for example, or they're comfortable with a wider stop dollar wise, you know, so you can, you can set things that make it, you know, more comfortable for you, but invariably people will find uh, a, a slot or a peg hole, if you will, a hole that their peg will go in that they don't have to trim a square peg into the round hole because it never quite fits perfectly you know what i mean yeah uh, so if you find the one hey you know this fits real good whether it's short-term scalping or you know trading every every hour or trading every week or every other day you you learn that through your own discovery as to where you feel most comfortable we help with that as well we oh, really? dig into that oh yeah we dig into that because it's so important that that you aren't that square peg trying to get into the round hole because you'll never it, it'll never work for you in the long run you'll always struggle so, so if I come to you and say, help me through Pathfinder, uh, and I'm not yet sure if, if I'm really a, a longer term trader or shorter term, you'll, you'll help to figure that out. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. through, through a series of questions over, over a few days and let's, let's talk about it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and I think I said one of the earlier um, uh, meetings we had is that, you know, dialogue and an open dialogue and a comfortable dialogue and encouraged open dialogue is what we what we really encourage, you know, say it, tell us what you're really thinking, how you're feeling, what's your answer to this question. There's no, it's not a test. Right. It's a, it's a discovery. And you know, people, uh, the one guy said, he was like, wow, 
So I, I feel like I just got off the couch here with you, Steve. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys do you guys provide pillows, or is that uh, bring your own pillow? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know, but but it, but again, I I think you need to you know, really tell somebody you know what you're trying to do and your struggles, and you know it helps when somebody can say tell you that you say well here's some some things you can do to 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 help yourself in those areas so um, you know we don't have the magic pill or, or the secret sauce uh, I've always felt that it's inside you you already have it it's just you've got to you've got to let it come out you've got to you know it, it's got to be you it's got to be more natural you have to understand it and that can be learned and trained do you, do you mind sharing what sort of time frames have you seen people make the adjustments, right? So, so you know, you, you bring traders in, you scrub them down, right, and help them see clarity, help them to gain their confidence, help them to figure out how to fit it into their lifestyle. Uh, what sort of time frames have you seen people turn the corner? You know, is it, is it in the period of a, a week, a couple months, a half a year? What, what sort of ranges have you seen? Well, it, it, does, it does change. I mean, so many people, Grant, uh, so many traders are, they're, they're still apprehensive. Um, you know, it's that fear of being wrong and fear of losing money. All right. Mm -hmm. And we, we really, in discovering, you know, that someone wants to be a trader, you really, you have to say, you have to be comfortable with losing money, um, you know, because you're going to lose money. Yeah. All right. Uh, you know, you want to, you know, you want to, you, you know, win intelligently, lose professionally, mm -hmm. is what I was told years ago. Uh, and professional, you know, you know, when you take a loss, you take it, hey, it didn't work out, boom. You don't let the thing fester, all right? But people, are, we're just natural. Uh, we don't like to lose money. We don't like to practice losing money well. We don't like, <laughs> you know, we don't like to be wrong, right? That's no, Right, right. And we don't want to practice how we feel being wrong. You know? <laughs> but, but it's part of the game. Yeah, you know, it, it has to be dealt with. So, uh, I, I think that uh, the transition that I've seen people get most comfortable with is going from that nervous uh, trader that was in every you know every minute or two for a tick or two in the marketplace, get in, get out because he was so afraid of risk. He's he's come to grips with what he actually can risk, what he's comfortable risking. You know, uh, you know, are you comfortable risking two hundred dollars? Yeah. You know, if not, why? You know, are you comfortable risking five hundred dollars? You know, why? You know, it, you have to be that way. Not that you always have to take losses, but you are going to take them and to face it and say, "Look, I'm putting five hundred dollars on this on this thing, and I, I understand where where I need to be on this. I've done my due diligence on this. I think I'm here, but I'm willing to let the thing work five hundred dollars against me. All right, uh, you know, to 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 prove my point." Right. I've, I've heard someone, uh, someone describe that as uh, sometimes as uh, traders or investors will swallow sparrows, but we'll, uh, oh, sorry, this is a little crass, but we'll, 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 uh, we'll crap out elephants, right? Yeah. Uh, yep. Meaning we'll, we'll, we'll take all these little wins, but then, then we'll take these massive losses. And so helping someone to say, look, I'm willing to take on this risk level. Uh, and then that means that I'm willing to then wait for that, that sparrow to then turn into an elephant on the profit side as well then. Yeah. And if it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, it, it doesn't, it doesn't not, not wishing and hoping it does and backing up to stop a little bit. And you say, well, you know, you just get, maybe I went in too early. Give it some more time. Nah, no, nah, take it. You know, people don't want to take losses, but you know, again, you have to. Once you understand why you're taking the loss and, and what the risk was, and we work with that so you can get your head around this, uh, that it's not, you're not a loser. That trade didn't work out. Forget about it. Push it to the side. has no bearing on what you're going to do next. Don't that play. is the translation, isn't it? The translation yep. is that if I, if I don't uh, succeed on this trade, I, I take it personally as a trader, right? I'm like, yep. I'm no good at this. I can't yep. do this. I, I'm right. a loser. Yeah. And, and, and in reality, no one really knows exactly where it's going to go. We're just working to put probabilities on our side. Exactly. And, and you know, if, we, if we've done things right, I think, I think, quite frankly, Grant, the high bar is, uh, is eight times out of ten you're going to be right. Mm-hmm. 
All right. I think it's a high bar. That I is, think some of the, some of this trying to do nine times out of 10 or 10 times out of 10, it's futile. It's not yeah. going to work. Those are the guys that, that will never, I think, in my opinion, you won't see those opportunities that often. Mm -hmm. and, and when you're in them, uh, those are the ones where you, 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 know, you, you think you're, you've got it that, that, yeah. that good that you're, you're swallowing the elephant, you know, <laughs> and, or cramping the elephant up, you know, because you're holding on to it. And though, that, kills, that kills more, more trading success stories than anything right there mm -hmm. is what you said. Yeah. Yeah, excellent point, excellent point. Well, Stephen, you've been uh, more than free with your time. I appreciate you coming on for this third episode. As we wrap up, are there any final comments, words of wisdom, things like that you, you, you know, you'd like to share with us? Well, you know, I, I really would like to hear something from, from some of your listeners. And, and as I said before, I mean, it doesn't have to be for a sales pitch on Pathfinder at all. But if they're traders and, and, they're, and they're still seeking uh, a, a better way, maybe something maybe the glue to hold everything together. I think we can help them. And I'd love to have an, uh, just a very frank, casual discussion with them, uh, dialogue and see what they think. And uh, I think, you know, basically from what I hear from them, depends on what I hear from them, you know, Pathfinder could be something for them. And I would be straightforward with them. I would say, you know, whether, whether they can or can't, you know, so. Uh, well, you know. yeah, just, just in our conversation today, there's several scenarios yeah. that through our, you said, yeah, they probably shouldn't do it in this particular yeah. case or that scenario. So I think you'll be, I think you'd be candid. What, what, what's your contact info again? Could you just share that one more time? You, yeah, you can get me directly on my, uh, I'm in Chicago, by the way, or right across from the, uh, from the uh, Willis Tower. It used to be a Sears Tower. It's around the Chicago River. Um, it's 312-277-0109. That's me directly. If you don't get me to pick up the phone right away, just leave me a voicemail. Uh, remind me of uh, where you heard about me in Pathfinder, and I'll call you right back. Or um, if they'd rather send me an email, that's fine too. Um, it's S Sweet, so that's S S W E E T at Zaner dot com, and Zaner is spelled Z Z is in zebra A N E R Zaner dot com. So very cool, very cool. Well, Pathfinder sounds like a sweet solution. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty proud of it, Grant. I and I think the whole team we've got is too. It's a it's a you know I I have found that. Um, the other guys we've got working with the other traders, they kind of like sharing their, 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 some experience out there and helping along people, you know, to go along. I mean, they've got, they're out their careers as well. They many of them work in our hedge department or they're working with uh, some high net worth traders. A lot of them will do shorter term trading or medium term and longer term trading. Oh, wow. uh, and I, you know, it's kind of like, I, I, I it's kind of warming to me that uh, as I was helped, on the trading floor years ago about what was going on. These guys like to impart knowledge from time to time. So I think it's great. That's, that's wonderful. Well, thanks for joining Stephen and hopefully we'll get to have you back uh, sometime in the future. Well, I'd like that. So thank you very much. Right. Hey, thanks Stephen. Take care. Hey, thank thanks you. everyone for joining financial investing radio and uh, looking forward to joining you on the next episode. Thank you for joining Grant on Financial Investing Radio. Remember to subscribe and leave feedback. Don't forget to download your free roadmap to high probability financial control before you make an investment decision. Visit financialinvestingradio.com now.